Good morning students. So students, today we will start with a new chapter in English. The name of the chapter is Sushuruta, a peep into the past. Now Sushuruta is also called as Sushurut. Now Sushuruta or Sushurut was a surgeon. A surgeon means a doctor, a veterinary doctor of animals. And he was a very smart student okay now this chapter is divided into two parts so first we'll start with the first part and this story is written by dr chirantana matkari so we, we will start sushruta was indeed a bright student of veterinary medicine his teacher shali hotra once decided to test him. So as I told you, Sushruta was a very good and a bright student of veterinary medicine. Now veterinary medicine means medicines that deal with prevention or treatment of disease or disorder or any injury in non-humans that is in animals. A veterinary doctor is called a doctor of an animals. So once his teacher, okay, Sushruta's teacher his name was Shalihotra. He once decided to test him. He was a bright student, but he wanted to test him. Then he asked Shushuruta what all he would need to perform a surgery on a wonderful horse. Sushuruta very quickly listed down all the instruments and the medicines that would be needed. So once he asked Sushuruta, that what all things you need to perform a surgery or to, okay, to carry out a surgery on a wonderful horse. What all things you need, you list it down. All instruments, whatever instruments, medicines you need that you have to list it down. We will see further. Then uh, Shalihotra says, three things are missing, Shalihotra said. Then uh, suddenly Sushiruta was confused. He was confused and he was looking at his teacher. That is Shalihotra. Then Shalihotra says to him, I will give you a week to find them. Shalihotra consoled. So Shalihotra, that is his teacher, told him, I will give you a week and I, you have to see that which three things are missing. Okay, consoled means comfort. Curious to find out what those three things were, Shushuruta observed his teacher carefully for the next one week. The meaning of curious means eager to know. So, Sushuruta was eager to know that what three things were missing. So, he wanted, he was a very bright student, right? So, he was eager to know that what three things are missing. So, what did he do? What did Sushuruta do? He was observing his teacher carefully for the next one week. So by observation, he would understand what is he missing. Before operating the horse, Shalihotra observed every part of the horse. And then Sushuruta found the first missing thing. So before operating any horse, what did his teacher do? He used to observe, he, has, he used to see, he used to watch carefully. Observe means watch carefully at every part of the horse. And then Sushuruta, he found the first missing thing. Now, what was the first missing thing? The first missing thing was a good veterinarian should have an eagle's eye. That means a good veterinarian means a person whose job is to treat or sick, any sick or injured animal. So he should have a good eye. Eye means a very sharp and watchful eye in all the details. If he has a sharp eye, then only he will be good at his job. Okay, so that was his first thing that he was missing and he came to know. That is, Sushiruta came to know the first thing. Then let's move further. Then Shalihotra decided sorry then Shalihotra treated the animal as if it were his own 
balancing science and compassion equally and lo sushruta found his second rule that was a good veterinarian should have a lion's heart so while treated okay while she observing shalihotra sushruta was observing shalihotra so while observing shalihotra he was treating the animals shalihotra was treating the animals he was doing his own he was balancing his science his compassion that means feeling of sympathy and then sushruta found his second rule that was a good veterinarian should have a lion's heart a lion's heart means he should have sympathy and science equally okay while treating any animal next shalihotra helped the horse recover after the surgery sushruta came to know that a good veterinarian should have a mother's touch too then he came to know about the third thing that he was missing sushruta what he said shalihotra told him help the horse recover after the surgery sushruta came to know that a good veterinarian should have a mother's touch too mother's touch means a concern and loving attitude whenever you perform a surgery you should be concerned you should have a good attitude a loving caring attitude towards someone so he found all the three things that he was missing later in his life sushruta wrote a book on surgery later after he was learning he seen what things are missing in him after that he wrote a book on surgery now what's a surgery medical treatment that involves cutting or opening the body part and removing or correcting something we know what's a surgery okay but this is the surgery of a horse okay now we'll move on to the second part of the chapter okay let's see a tradition of veterinary therapy developed very early in india and this has survived to the present time that means this veterinary doctors of animals they were therapy means treatment of illness they had it had developed in india since a long back okay since long back so based on the ayurveda that means medicines indian veterinary medicine is known for its special specialized literature which provides information on ancient methods of preventing and treating diseases of animals so there was ayurveda ayurveda there were books on it that uh, on that you could understand that if any doctors they needed to prevent or treat any animals everything was there in that some of these treatments little known outside india are still practiced today so these ayurveda now you must have heard about it it's still present in india as well as in other countries also these medicines are there the oldest existing veterinary text from india is a treatise entitled asarva yuveda siddhanta means a book okay is there that means in that book what is there complete ayurvedic system for horses so what medicines what treatments you should do that is there in that book attributed to shalihotra that means considered to be written by shalihotra around 2350 bce the founder of veterinary medicine subsequently various treatises on horses and diseases of horses were composed so there were books written during that time so that afterwards if anyone needed anything they could see towards it and could get the medicines or treatments okay the veterinary doctors could get it nakula one of the five pandavas there were five brothers we know that five pandavas was a horse specialist himself so there was one of the brother called nakula he was a horse specialist among the best known works of animal literature is aswakikitsa that is therapeutics of horses that means treatment of horses it was written by nakula one of the brother brothers he was a horse specialist so he also had written a book on treatment of horses 
Sushruta, a disciple of Shalihotra, wrote on animal surgery. So he was a student, right? Disciple means student. So this made people aware of surgical methods. Means previously people did not know how a surgery was. So they knew, they were aware about the knowledge or situation of fact. So how a surgery is done. Now how a surgery is done? That is dressing of wounds, they clean the wounds, put some medicine, they put the bandages. Then if there is fractures, they put another bandages. So all these things, all these things are done in a surgery. Okay. Later during the reign of Chandragupta Maurya, around 300 BC, veterinarians started accompanying armies to treat horses, elephants as well as cattle so then slowly they started treating other animals as well the great emperor ashoka erected the first known veterinary hospital erected means built okay he first built a veterinary hospital that is of the world then he arranged cultivation of herbal medicines for men and animals in his empire and adjoining kingdoms adjoining kingdoms means neighboring kingdom so emperor ashoka he first made a, a hospital a veterinary hospital for the animals to treat animals okay giving the animals general tonics and stimulants was practiced in order to ensure good mental and physical health now what is tonics and stimulants means a substance that gives us more energy. See, sometimes we also have tonics. So the same way, uh, same way the animals also have tonics, which with what we get energy. Okay. Prevention of the occurrence of diseases was also given importance. Cleanliness of animals, maintenance of stalls and stables, quality of food disadvantage of overfeeding were looked after so you have to even take care of the animals so that was also being done then the place where the animals were staying that also has to be clean so all these things were taken into consideration utilization of animals by products was also done wisely by our ancestors now we know from animals we get certain products Okay, that is what we sometimes in the olden times, that is during our ancestors, the grandfathers and all, what they used to do? Conversion of milk into butter. That means change, uh, conversion means change. Conversion of milk they make into butter. Then they make certain other milk products also like ghee, curd, khoya, etc. Now these are all the things which we get from the animals okay that was a common practice and it is still on okay these call these things of making products is still on in certain villages okay chicken was utilized for its meat while sheep was utilized for its wool now we know we get meat from the chicken and we get wool from sheep Although India has always had immense knowledge in the field of veterinary science, that means people of India, they have good knowledge about veterinary science, how to treat animals. It is not chosen as a career by many due to lack of awareness. Now, many people know about animals, how to treat animals, but many people don't have a career in it, means you see to it you have you must have not heard that a person is a doctor in your village or in your area there might be a doctor but the doctor of a human being because people are not aware about animals how to treat animals that's why okay being an agricultural based country we also know that india is a india most in india we have the occupation mostly people are engaged in agriculture people in india do a lot of agricultural work so being an agricultural based country today india needs more veterinarians who emphasize with animals and give their sent person to their profession so india needs more veterinarian doctors means animal doctors why because we use animals in agriculture so we need to have certain doctors also of animals to take care of them as well now when we fall sick we go to the doctor the animals cannot go 
they 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 don't have that much sense that we they can go to the doctor so we should have a veterinarian doctor also to treat the animals okay so here we end with this chapter we will learn the next chapter in the next video thank you for listening children goodbye take care